great to get back on the field and uh, like I said unfortunately um, the last couple of results haven't gone uh, as well as we could have uh, well, we could have done but uh, mm. what better time to put it right than uh, Friday out there in the last yeah. 5,000 games yeah. yeah it's important it's a big occasion and you know you have a decent crowd here as well and after two setbacks it's good it's good to get back on the horses it was yeah you know <laughs> As a team, we were very disappointed uh, from a performance perspective more than anything. But uh, I think what, what we don't need to forget that going to places like Connaught and especially Munster uh, are not you know must-win games and not you, uh, take it as a, a you know as a game where you should win really. And I think as well as we did last season, uh, we came away from Connaught with uh, without a, a win, and, and same in Munster. What's more disappointing for us as, as a team is, is the performance aspect of it. The, you know, if you could play well and unfortunately don't get the win, then you know you can take some comfort from that. But uh, things that we've been uh, practicing in uh, in training is not actually uh, sort of uh, taking. We're not taking it out on the field at the moment. So. Uh, so we worked hard this week. It's a big occasion for us, and yeah. you know what? But like I said, what better place out here and back at home than to put it right? Yeah. Nigel's spoken a lot this year. Obviously, about the vice captaincy and a lot more responsibilities on your shoulders this year. How are you uh, coping with that? Ah, so, you know, everyone, everyone carries responsibility. Yeah. So I think it's more of a name tag. It's obviously a great honour for me yeah. to to have that actually off uh, off uh, Nigel and the coaching staff. But uh, it's about everyone's input really, and. You know, it's, it, it, it's, it's a collective thing from one to fifteen, and we, we have got some uh, some good leaders throughout the side really, yeah. that, that all uh, sort of weigh into uh, mm. to it. Yeah, but you seem to have really fitted in well. You're in this in this environment because obviously you're not long, really. It's third season now, yeah. so I mean, you seem comfortable here then, as it were. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's a great environment for you know yeah. for any player. The facilities are second to none, and uh, we've got a great uh, great group of boys, and uh, also a, a very very enthusiastic coaching team and yeah. uh, like I said unfortunately the last couple of uh, games haven't gone our way and uh, everyone is uh, doing their utmost really to try and put that right this sooner rather than later. Yeah. Is it pretty much a new look back division, is that difficult for all the new combinations? It is difficult but uh, there's some very very good players there and yeah. I think that the most frustrating part is if people wasn't uh, probably up to the mark then you could understand it but there, there's some fantastic players uh, actually left behind and, yeah. and obviously the boys have gone to the World Cup speak for themselves yeah. so it's, uh, that's exciting moving forward but uh, yeah. uh, everyone's more than capable and you know like I said it's just been disappointing the way uh, the performances have gone in the last couple of weeks I suppose the last few weeks they haven't exactly been the conditions for Buckley either really you know, last week wasn't great no it, it wasn't great that in Munster it's a, you know, it's a typical place you've got to be on top of your game yeah. to come away with anything I know remember the last two games we've sort of been uh, you know, nearly there, but uh, through a few decisions and things. But it's like anything; we, you, we leaked a couple of early tries, right. and then as soon as you find yourself chasing a game, the rain came down. Yeah. And it's a real uh, difficult ask, and for the boys. And like I said, uh, unfortunately, that you know, that's where the, the results have gone. But we're, we're mindful of that this week. Today, you know, we've got a we've got the luxury of training indoors, but uh, it was a collective decision that we would we would do some things indoors, but we actually went. Out yeah. today and 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 practice these little things in the in the rain, which hopefully will make all the difference come Friday night. Do we have inclement weather? Yeah, because sometimes it's, it's a sign of character, and you really got to dig in for the wins as opposed to you know, your trademark rugby that you've been producing perhaps last season and stuff. These games, sometimes you need to show that character just to dig in and battle out for the win. Really, yeah, we like, you know Nigel's praised the pack, and, yeah. and we're more than capable of of, of doing that, and uh, we 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 have got. A, a reputation of playing, uh, you know, expansive, free-flowing rugby, but there's no reason why we we can't adapt to the other game, and we put a lot of work in in training uh, to do that. And uh, we realise it is as much as we would like to play that open style play. That at some point it becomes uh, sort of detrimental to to the team, and uh, we need to find that balance really in between both uh, until we have obviously uh, weather which will allow us to maybe go into a bit more of our traditional style. And I 
was a challenge for boys you know with the jerseys is that trying to create that competition so when the boys come back then they're not automatic selections when they do come back ah, definitely you know, people realise that they, they, they've got one opportunity and, and one opportunity you know, at the end of the day those boys are away with uh, Wales uh, are higher in the pecking order it's as simple as that and, and everyone here realises that but uh, the, what we need is to have a, a, you know boys coming back and and not being allowed to just uh, well if they are you know to come back first choice you know pressure and people snapping on the heels who, who yeah. settled in and are playing the scarlet rugby I suppose you've had that since you've come here because I know you obviously because Regan's been here and for John as well and he's been in that competition isn't it this is obviously just got the way there in New Zealand yeah it's, it's uh, you know I think you're going to get it throughout, throughout yeah. your career until you become you know a, a Regan King or you know one of these type of players I, I, I don't think anyone you know I, I speak to John regularly and I, I wouldn't say he would class himself as, as a, a you know as he, he realises a competition you know you look at the emergence of people like Scott who've, who've played little rugby and, and uh, you know have gone on to impress and yeah. and there's going to be players that probably sat in the academy room and we don't know about who's going to be doing the same thing in two years time so I think that's only healthy for the for the for the squad and the more we get of that I think the better team will become yeah. 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 Yeah.